Hi, this video is to teach people who have got swollen legs and ankles how to do their own lymphatic massage at home. Please ensure you've had an assessment by our lymphedema physiotherapist to make sure these exercises are right for you and to get the best outcome. To book an appointment, please see our contact details at the end of the video. These exercises should be used in conjunction with your compression garments if they have been prescribed. Don't forget skincare is really important as well. Moisturise your legs daily after your shower and check your skin for any cuts, grazes or leaking. If your leg gets hot or tired or more itchy and you feel unwell, see your doctor. The lymphatic system doesn't have a pump to move the lymphatic fluid around the body and it relies on the muscle movement and blood vessels pulsing to stimulate the movement of the lymph back to where it enters the bloodstream under your collarbone. Help get the fluid moving by moving your ankles up and down. You can even make smiley faces when you do it. If you have really stiff ankles, then it may ache a little bit after, but after a couple of days, your body will be more used to it. Sit with your feet flat on the floor and lift your heels up as far as you can, keeping your toes on the floor. These exercises can also help strengthen your muscles if you do it regularly. Sit up straight, straighten your leg out and then bend it back down. Sit up straight, lift your knee up as far as you can, like you are marching on the spot. Next, we will move on to the stimulation of the lymph nodes. The lymph nodes are where the lymphatic vessels go through to filter germs. A lot of immune cells live there. They are located in clusters in your joints, so get the joints moving to help. Having pressure over the area as you are moving it can also help. You can also do circular massage over it. Make sure all of your movements are slow and controlled. You will find the massage easier to do on bare skin. So during or after your shower is a good time, or if you are around the house in your shorts. However, I'm a firm believer of something is better than nothing, so however it gets done is fine. The massage should be done in a gentle stroking motion, like patting a cat. Use the sides of the fingers, not your fingertips, to gather as much fluid as you can. I love to think about seeing a little bow wave as you push the fluid up. You can use a little bit of moisturizer on your legs, but don't make it too oily. You want to start off with your thigh. Clear the areas upstream first. Massage always in an upwards direction. Feel for changes in how your skin feels. Is it more dry? Does it feel firm and gooey or soft like regular skin? Are there indents under your fingers? Make sure you go all the way around your thigh. Put your fist or hand behind your knee and bend and straighten your leg out. You can also get your fingers behind your knee and do some massage movements into the soft part of the back of your knee. If you can cross your ankle onto your knee, pop it up and start your massage from your ankle up towards your knee. As you can see, it's much easier to do without pants to get in the way. Around your ankle, really try and feel to see what the skin is like under your fingers, as this is often where skin changes happen. If you can't reach your foot and ankle, don't worry, you won't be left out. There are heaps of easy devices you can use. 
Today, I have brought a little bit of a paint roller. You can pick one up from Bunnings for like six bucks, or you can use a back scrubbing brush with a long handle. Just chuck a sock over the bristles and tape it up. If the handles aren't long enough, grab another stick and some sellotape and you have an extension handle. Sorted! To get a little more reach, or so you don't have to lean over as much, chuck your foot up on a little stool. Or if you have someone keen and helpful at home, show them this video and they can do it for you. Last but not least is the foot. Massage from the toes up to the ankles and pay special attention to the areas around the ankle bones and at the top of the foot, as often they can become quite swollen. You can repeat the whole thing a couple of times. Aim to spend about 10 to 15 minutes a day on this. Turn it into part of your daily routine.